Okay, in a couple of lessons' time, you guys are going to be doing a speech, and this worksheet will just help you understand what you're saying when you do your speech. It will also help you understand what other people are saying when they do their speech. So the first thing that we're going to look at is um, the KLIs. And the first KLI here is know the counters for age, num which is number plus psi. Now, if you have a look at the ones down here, <coughs> the first section gets you to practice translating ages, and the first one's done for you already. Um, and just keep working through those. KLI 2 helps you know the counters for grade, so that's the number plus nense. So you just need to translate the following grades. Um, you can see there that there's some written in Japanese, translate them to English, and then vice versa as well. Then the, down the bottom, KLI 3, know the counters for people, and have a little bit of practice there as well. So have a go of doing that one. After the worksheet's finished, that leads on to the, the actual speech. So if you now turn to this worksheet, this is the main page here, and um, as you can see, there is a speech here by a girl named Mai. Um, she was an exchange teacher here a little while ago, and she wrote a speech on this side here. This is all in Japanese, and here's the equivalent in English over here. And now what you can do is all these parts that are underlined, you can replace it with your own speech. Because you know how to do ages, you should be able to exchange this here for the correct age. Because you've done grades, you can do the same there. Devonport, if you don't live in Devonport, just change it. It doesn't matter if you write it in English here. Um, and then whatever you like, you can look that up in a dictionary. Or find it online, in an online dictionary. Um, then of course also the family as well, which, which is what we have a bit of practice for. What I'll get you to do is in your books, I'll get you to structure a speech exactly like this. So draw up a table, and on the one side write the English, and on the other side write the Japanese. But of course you're going to change these words to the ones that suit you. Put your name in here, age, grade, where you live, what you like, how many people in your family. These two here you don't have to change. On the next page there are some vocabulary that you could use to exchange. Uh, you don't have to use these if you want something more specific to what you want. You can go on one of the computers and go onto an online dictionary, you should be able to find one if you Google it. Okay, so now you can go and start writing that up in your books.